What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Young Fizz, aka Mr. Dope Status on Instagram, and welcome back to another video. So today we are working with the Roland Phantom X6, and I'm using Machine. I'm particularly using the Maverick piano, and uh, what I want to do is just kind of show you some of the production tips I use when just kind of playing around inside a machine and just using the Phantom here. So Without further ado, if you haven't already, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. So whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is some tips and tricks for chords. All right, so let me first start off by saying, I like to do something with the 251 here. And let's just say, for example, we are in the key of C. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight right and all right so that's what the octave off right so let's just go ahead and say we have a two five one so the two would be the d five would be the g and then one would be the c so that's where the two five one comes from you may have heard songs ending something like this right here right now that sounds cool, right? But what I like to do is add a little bit of flavor to my music. And so a lot of times I'll use something called like major sevenths or major ninths. So a lot of times I'll do something like this here. Right, so how do I get there? So from here I have a D minor seven over nine. Then it goes to a G seven flat nine. And then we have a C major seven over nine. And then I do something right here. So I have the D octaves here and I'm also hitting that A all in the left hand. And then I have for the right hand an F, A, C, and E. So that's my two. This goes to the five. So on the left hand, I have a G. Right hand, I have a F, A flat, B, and then I have the D. And then we go to a C major seven over nine. So in the left hand, we have the C octaves with the G. And then we have in the right hand, we have the E. G, B, and then D. So again, so instead of playing something that sounds like this, I go from something like that to this here. So what am I saying? Adding some flavor to the music by adding some just kind of just some major sevenths and major ninth chords just kind of gives it that jazzy feel. Another thing I like to do is, let's just say, for example, we're playing another song here. All right, so we have another song here. And let's just say, for example, what I like to do is add some chords in between. So let's just say... I like to do some kind of like passing chords in a sense. So go from here. So that's kind of the things that I do when uh, making beats. I just kind of play around until I find something that just makes sense. And you can do this in any key. So the two, five, one, it, it ranges from different keys. You may have heard it in gospel music when, you know, someone is preaching or whatever and they go. Right, so that's just kind of the things that I do. I like to add a little jazzy flavor to my music. Um, I don't make a lot of lo-fi, but it's like a lot of R&B, but it, it just has those, those same chords in it. So no matter what key you're in.
All right, so that's the tutorial. Hope you guys found some value from it. Go ahead and use it in your productions. Your boy, Young Fizz, Mr. Dope Status on Instagram. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in and we are out.